Welcome to my channel, where we discuss everything and all things politics, especially about the 2023 presidential election in Nigeria. Here, we are continuing to look at state-by-state state breakdown on how P2B won 90% of the pooling units in military areas across the country. And, you know, this information was first revealed by Akin Oshuntoku, the Director General of the P2B Presidential Campaign Council. He made this revelation when he appeared on May 1, that is May Day, uh, Workers Day, on uh, AIT, Focus Nigeria program, where he said that there's no way Aswadibola Metinubu could have won the election, that it was P2B that won, that P2B won 90% of the vote cast in military installations in Nigeria. And he said that it was an indication that Tinubu did not win the election. Now, when I did that video, and uh, I also used that opportunity of that video to, to educate Nigerians that if P2B had won so much support from military installations, it means that the military trust P2B, P2B that he would be a good commander-in-chief. And I, yeah, it also indicated that the military be representing the diversity of Nigeria in religion and uh, ethnicity approved of his candidacy, supported his candidacy. Okay, which means they are ready to accept him to lead them as their commander in chief. It, there's no better explanation than that. Now, after I did that video, uh, Dr. Obioma Siwanko, uh, who had done detailed work looking at INEC IRIF and the INEC data, was able to share the research he has done, which confirmed much of what Oshun Tokun said, and then sending me the email of, uh, accompanied with the, his research work. And uh, we are grateful to him for what he did. And, that we are, and we are sharing it with you so that uh, you see how the uh, P2B performed uh, in the military installations and also what this indicates. Because from his own research, Dr. Obioma Siwanko also emphasized that there must have been something fishy for the, for the, for the, the level of diversity, diversion from the results in the general populace in some of the states from what was obtained in the barracks, which can only be as a result of rigging. Since people cannot rig within barracks areas and uh, uh, military installation areas, the results they are represented, what you can call the authentic reflection of how Nigerians voted in a free and fair environment. Now, uh, the last time we look at some of the states in northern Nigeria, because I, I, I particularly was interested in northern Nigeria, because this is where uh, there was a lot of misconception that P2B is not known in the north. Uh, but the results we are seeing show that even in the north, P2B did very well in military installations. Okay? He did very well in military installations. Uh, but there are some northern states that he did not uh, uh, win at military installation. And that is expected to be so because there's no way uh, he is going to sweep everywhere. Okay? Like now, let us look at Quara. Quara states. Now, the local government in Kwara State we are, that fall under this is uh, a Loring West. A Loring West. We have a Loring West. The word is Oloje. Now, the pulling, uh, the pulling unit code, uh, you have 23 slash. 08 slash 07 
slash row 20 and uh, all that you have 23 slash 0 a 0 slash 0 7 slash 0 1 1 but let us look at the name of the pulling unit so that if you are from Kwara state and you are listening to this or watching this you can be able to uh, to know know some of these uh, uh, pulling units you can be able to know them now this is uh, a force primary school three you have a force primary school two a force primary school four a force primary school one and a force quarters here, PTOB of the Labour Party got 67 votes. As Wadbola Metinubu of the APC got 468 votes. And PDP got 114 votes. Here, PTOB got only 10.32% of the vote cast. As Wadbola Metinubu got 72.11% of the vote cast. While Atiku Abakar got 17.57% of the vote cast. Now, in Kogi State, Kogi State, uh, the local governments that was covered that had military installations include uh, Angpa, Dekina, Lokoja, okay. At Lokoja and uh, Egalamelo Odolu. Okay, now there are the, the names of the pulling units are quite many. You have Ankpa Barracks, opposite Beria Ground, Barrack 2, Barrack 2, L. GEA Primary School, Barrack 3 Mark, Market Square, we have Barrack 2 Area Court, Mame Market, Open Space Inside Mame Market, Salvation Junction, Opposite Ame Barracks, Open Space Opposite Mame Market, Mame Market near Bus Stop. By transformer opposite Ame Barracks, opposite Ame Mame Market open space, opposite Ame Barracks open space, open space opposite Ame Signal, cantonment quarters open space near G and O, cantonment quarters open space near Union Bank, open space. Bar barracks and one LGEA school barracks one and two. Now, in the vote cast, PTOB of the Labour Party got 520 votes, APC got 789 votes, and uh, PDP got 425 votes. PTOB got 29.9 percent of the vote cast. Uh, I think uh, no, Bola Metribu got 45.50% 5, of the vote cast and PDP got 24.51% of the vote cast. You know, I've, I tried to continue to showcase results from Northern Nigeria, the military installations in Northern Nigeria, because that is where people have been spewing lies that nobody knows PTOB, which is not true. Now, Nasrawa State. There are two local governments in Nasrawa State that had military installations where voting took place. You have Akwanga and Karo. Now, the word is Akwanga West, Karshiwan, Agada, Baggage. Okay. Now the name of the pulling unit is Chube Barak, Navy Estate, Army Barracks, 
OOP. Here, Peter will be of the Labour Party got 246 votes. Tinubu of the APC got 17 votes. Atiku Abakar of the PDP got 29 votes. Peter will be won in this military installation in Nasrawa State by 84% of the vote cast. Uh, as well, Bola Metinubu got 5% 5 5 of the vote cast. And I think we nine percent of the vote cast. Then we now move to Niger. As I said, North is the more is where I want to start it before we talk about South. We are of course we know that Peter Bid did very well, but I started looking at the North because this is where people say Peter B was not known which is not true from what you are seeing here. Then in Northern, in Niger State, Niger State has uh, uh, some local governments where that has military installation include Borogu, Borogu, Chanchaga, Kotongra, and Suleja, where you have military installation that uh, voting took place. Borogu, Chanchaga, Boso, Kotogra, Suleja. Now, these are the name of the polling units, or the polling units where the uh, voting take place in Niger State. Army Barracks. That's in Borogu. You have Army Barracks in Borogu. Uh, you have Air Force Base. In Brogu, you have Army Engineering School. In the same Brogu, you have uh, Army Engineering School too. All these are in New Bosa, in Brogu, local government. Then in Chachaga, you have open space by Hassan Brigade Barracks. Then in Boso, you have Army Barracks 4, you have Army Barracks 1, Army Barracks Gates. A, Ame Barracks Gate B, Ame Barracks 2, Ame Barracks 3, Open Space Air Force Base, Mekunkele, sorry, Mekunkele. Then, So Joji 1, Ame Primary School, So Joji 2, Ame Primary School, So Joji, Ame Three Army Primary School, Army Barak Artillery, Army Barak Engineering. Now, here in Niger State military installations, P2B got 1,192 votes. Tinubu of the APC got 776 votes. PDP. Atiku Abakar got 348 votes. He appeared to be won in Niger State, military installations in Niger State, by 51.47% of the vote cast, followed by Aswadbola Metinubu with 33.5%, 51% of the vote cast, and Atiku Abakar 5.15% of the vote cast. So it will be one in military installations in in Niger State. Now I I'm, I'm looking for another northern state. Okay, now we are in Plateau State. We are looking at Plateau State results in military installations or around military installations, Plateau State. There are, we have uh, one local government where you have military installation is Basa local government. And the word is Buhit, B-U-H-I-T. And uh, the name of the pulling unit is Barras Gate. You have Barras Gate. You have Senior Officers Mess. You have Commander Secondary School. Here, P2B got 57%, no, 57 votes. 
the Tinubu of the APC got eight votes, PDP got one vote. P2B won here a, mil a military installation in Plateau State with 86.36% of the vote cast. Uh, as well, Bola Metinubu got 12% 12, 12 of the vote cast, and uh, Atuka Mbaka 1% of the vote cast. Now, Sokoto State. Sokoto State, you have Dangeshun local government. And uh, the name of the polling unit that election took place, and that's military installation where the election uh, took place, is Army CMPS, Army CMPS 3, Army CMPS, Army CMPS 1, Army CMPS, Army CMPS four, four, 5, Army CMPS, Army CMPS 2, Army CMPS, Army CMPS 4. Here, the results show that P2B got 92 votes. Tinubu of the APC got 261 votes. Atiku Abakar of the PDP got 242 votes. Now, let all, we have now entered Taraba State. Taraba State. Another Northern State. The local government is Ga, Gashaka. Okay? Gashaka local government is where you have this uh, military installation. And the pulling unit is uh, Mame Market 1, Mame Market. Then Mame Market 2, Mame Market. In this uh, military installation, P2B of the Labour Party got 103 votes. APC, Tinubu got 35 votes. PDP got 30 votes. He happy to be one Taraba a military installation uh, pulling unit by 61% of the vote cast. Uh, so Bola Metinubu got 20% of the vote cast and uh, PDP got 17% of the vote uh, cast. Then we move to Zamfara State. Zamfara State has uh, one local government that, had mili that has military installation. And they is saying is in Guzo, and uh, the word is Tudumwada, and the uh, name of the pulling unit where people cast votes include Tamuche Bread Center Two, Army Children School, Army Barak Three, ASYB Specialist Hospital, Tamuche Bread Center. Four, Army Children School, Kamuche Bread Center. Three, Army Children School, Alheri Nursery. Two, Army Children School, Army Children School. Three, Gida Hajo. Two, Army Children School, Army Barak. Four, S A S Y B Specialist Hospital, Army Barak. Army Barak. Two, ASYB Specialist Hospital, Ame Barak slash Tudungwada Ame Barak. So these are the uh, the pulling unit, the, ne the name of the pulling unit. Here in Zamfara, Pito B got uh, 84 votes. As well as Bola got 316 votes. PDP got 423 votes. P2B lost here. Uh, he got 10% of the vote cast. Tinubu got 38% of the vote cast. I took Abaka one here with 51% of the vote cast. So this is it for Northern uh, Nigeria. So next time we're going to look at uh, the breakdown of the votes in Southern Nigeria. 
And you can see that P2B did very well in northern Nigeria military installations within and around uh, military installations in northern Nigeria. The police units are in military installations in northern Nigeria. P2B did well. And but overall, P2B uh, dusted at Atikwa Bakar and uh, Tinubu in military installations nationwide by winning 90% of the votes cast in uh, military installations. Uh, so that is where we're going to stop for now. And I want to thank Dr. Obioma C. Wankwo, who did the research using INEC data on INEC IRIF and uh, graciously shared this information with us. Thank you for watching this. And uh, if you are new to my channel, you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the subscription button, hit the notification bell. When you subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell, anytime I have a new video, you'll be among the first to know. God bless you. And please don't forget to like this video because when you like it, Google will rank it high and recommend it for more people. Thank you and God bless you and yours.